Hi, I'm Anne. I'll show you a quick and easy way to finish your edges with your home sewing machine. You just need this little tool, the overcast foot. With this foot and with an overcast stitch you can select on most machines, you get a very secure and a very clean seam that'll look just like the finishing of the garments you buy in a store. Let's have a look. This is the overcast foot. In the stitching area, there, this foot has a small bridge which controls the stitch. Your needle goes over this bridge and the right swing of the needle goes off the fabric and your stitch will stay nice and flat. The edges of your fabric will not curl in, bunch up or pucker. This extension in the front will guide the edge of your fabric. First, you snap off your regular presser foot. And as the overcast foot is a snap-on foot, you just snap on the overcast foot. It's as easy as that. Now align the edge of your fabric to the guide of the foot. Then select an overcast stitch on your machine. And if you have none, you can use a zigzag. Hand crank first to make sure the needle passes the bridge, left and right. Your zigzag has to be wide enough. If all is good, you can start sewing. And don't go too fast. You can finish both edges of your seam separately and then sew the seam with a straight stitch. Or you can sew the seam first and finish the edges together. When you are finished, do not pull your fabric to the left or the right to cut the threads or your stitches will be damaged. The last few stitches are wrapped around the little bridge of the foot. So first pull the fabric towards the back to free those stitches and then cut the threads. So this is made on my machine. This is the stitch that is advised for overcasting on thicker fabrics. And I have another one, a stitch that is advised for overcasting on thin or medium weight fabrics. And as a general rule, the ones that move only forward are better for light fabrics. And the ones that move back and forward are better for heavyweight fabrics. I think this little tool can compete to a serger. Uh, it doesn't trim off the fabric like a serger does, but it's cheaper and if I need matching colors I can easily change the threads on my machine and put on this little foot. Doing that with a serger takes a lot of time, often a lot of frustration to get the tension of the threads right. So very often for finishing the edges I do it with my home sewing machine and this little foot. And if you want to know more, if you need more details, more details about the stitches, about some tips and tricks, you can also read my blog post on madamsaw.com. Have a nice day!